Hey guys, Tamno here. Today we're going to see if the e.l.f. powder foundation is a perfect for the Fenty powder foundation. If this is something you're interested in, make sure to keep on watching. Wait. So I've done my brows now. The next thing I'm going to do is to prime my skin. And to prime my skin today, I'm going to be using a new primer. So my skin has been primed. Now it's time for me to apply concealer. So I'm gonna use the same concealer for both sides. I'll be using the Elf Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. So let's blend. Next, I'm going to go in with a setting powder. So it's time to apply the powder foundations. So on this side, I'm going to be applying the Fenty and on this side, I'll be applying the e.l.f. I know I already look like um, I have like done my full face and I look all clear, but look at this side and look at this side. I don't have product on it. So let's start with the Fenty. Such a cute packaging. And I got it in the shade 410. This is what 410 looks like. The e.l.f. packaging, the shade at the back. This is what the shade looks like. Let me show you guys what they look like side by side. So I'm starting first with the Fenty one and I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender and tap the powder like so. Instead of brush, I feel like powder um, beauty blender gives you a full up coverage. Can you guys see that? Okay. All right, this looks not bad. Looks good, I kind of like it. Okay, so I was really scared because I wear Fenty 440 in their foundations and I was like, let me just get a 410 powder. And now it's like a perfect match. So I feel like I did a good job. Okay, so I'm gonna use a different beauty blender to apply the e.l.f. on this side. I can't tell them apart. Okay, I can't tell them apart. This is the Fenty side. Elf side. So let me show you guys what I look like with natural light. But before then, the time right now is 1.17 p.m. So this is what I look like with natural light. Fenty side. The Elf side. What do you guys think? Fenty side, else side. Fenty side, else side. You can tell that the Fenty side is a lot warmer. My hair looks more neutral. So let me go back and turn on my lights. So guys, I went on to complete my face off camera. All I did was just um, eyeshadow, lashes, mascara, highlighter, blush, and that's all. I haven't even set my face with a setting mist and I look flawless. Let me turn Fenty side. Elf side. They're both giving me that blurry effect. I really did enjoy the technique I used to, you know, apply both powders. Using a damn beauty sponge is awesome. I love it. I really now see how much I like the um, Elf side. Um, Cause when I compared it with its other shade, I really did not, you know, necessarily like it. Now it looks so good. This technique just makes it, you know, fire. Anyway, um, let me describe powder foundations for you guys. Starting first with the Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. It comes in 50 shades and I got it for 46 euros. It claims to be blurring, long wearing, non-cakey, light as air, 
gives you no flashback. It's crisp resistant, sweat resistant, humidity resistant. Wow, lots of claims. And in all honesty, it does blur the skin. It looks so good. It is non cakey. It is also light as air. I have to say that. Okay, so let me move to the e.l.f. side. So the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation comes in 30 shades. It is 12 euros. It claims to be long wearing, beautiful formula. Gives you an airbrush look. In all honesty, this is airbrush. So I'm going off camera right now and I'll be back in about six or eight hours to show you guys what my face looks like. I want to see how this primer works with both powder foundations because when I used the Hydro Grip or the e.l.f. Power Grip, in about two hours, it started to get shine. I also won't be doing touch up till I come back to show you guys my face. Hey guys, it's um, 4.17 p.m. That means it's three hours. It's been three hours since I wore both powder foundations. Here has the e.l.f. And here has the Fenty and I look good. You know, honestly, I think the Rare Beauty Primer has something to do with why um, I'm not as oily as I was when I used the Hydro Grip for the Elf Camo Powder um, Foundation Regime because what? Can you guys see? I'm literally feeling myself. I know I just showed you guys what I look like with my phone, but I wanted to show you guys what I look like on camera. And this is what I look like. I must say that there's something the Rare Beauty Primer is doing because when I reviewed the Elf Camo powders, maybe I don't know if it's a technique I used to apply it, I was a lot shiny. I'm not saying I'm not shiny. Like you can, you definitely will see that I'm shiny around like this area of my nose, but that's all. So I'm going to be trying out this primer with the Rare Beauty Foundation. I already have like a review of the foundations okay so see you guys in about three hours again hey guys i am back it's been over seven good hours since i've had this powder foundations on the time right now is 8 24 p.m and this is what my face looks like So you guys can see that I'm shiny on both areas. But one thing I noticed is that I feel like this held better as opposed to when I used the Milk Hydro Grip and um, Elf Power Grip. Right now, I would say that aside from the primer I used, which is the Rare Beauty Primer, the application method also did help this powder. My lips are so crusty. Um, I'm trying to look for solutions guys. I'm sure you guys can see it. it's really really dry So if you have any recommendations of lip balms you'd like me to try please leave it in the comment section because at this moment um, Carmex that I normally would use is not working So right now it is safe for me to say that the elf camo powder foundation came close It came close to the Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. Since that Fenty side is a lot buttery or in the sense that the powder texture for Fenty is a lot buttery than the e.l.f. one. Now let me blot. I'm going to use this paper towel, starting with the Fenty side. So let me do the forehead side. So this is what the Fenty side looks like. So I'm going to flip to this side for the um, elf side. I can still go for longer hours. My makeup did not really remove. I know that it just that my blush reduced, my highlighter reduced, but then it still looks good and skin like. You can see the highlighter picking through. So you see. Both powders really look good on my skin and um, I'll just tell you guys that e.l.f. came close. In terms of feel, I think the Fenty one is a lot buttery. Yeah, the texture is a lot buttery as opposed to the e.l.f. The e.l.f. is a little hard. Yeah, so um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.